this video we are going to see about a common source within direct connected load so in the previous video we have seen about common source with resistance to load so usually the resistance occupies more space so in place of resistance we have replaced the by means of direct connection load so by means of direct connection load means always the gate and the drain is short circuited so by doing so the m2 will be always operation saturation region and the remaining everything is operate same as your con with resistance to load in place of resistance we have replaced the m2 as a transistors to get and less amount of to occupy less amount of space when go for and manufacturing so here at first we will perform an uh, transient analysis so here i have given model for the nmos1 and nmos2 the nmos1 is m1 and nmos2 is an m2 so i have given 1.5 volts as a bias voltage for the m1 and then i have given sine wave and for a uh, dc of 10 0 and ampere 10 millivolts and 5 kilohertz since i want to perform AS analysis i have given a sample as a 1 so now uh, let us perform at first transient analysis so for transient i have given something around and and 10 milliseconds for example so 10 milliseconds i want to execute now let us execute this uh, the input we can find so output So here we can find the blue is output line and black is input line. Uh, we can find the 180 degree phase shift. So here uh, in the common source with direct, direct connection load, the AB, the gain is uh, minus GM uh, into corresponding uh, double minus uh, square root of WL of 1 by WL of 2 into 1 by 1 plus neta. So here we can find minus symbol. That's why it is a phase shift is as pun, happened so we can 180 degree phase shift has been happened over here uh, black is input and blue is output over here and then once you go for an AC analysis so once you perform tra transit analysis we need to measure the gain so to measure the gain I have given dot measure statement dot measure so which me which parameter we are, we are going to measure this V in is the measure right so I have given same V in and pick to pick and then which voltage we need to measure so the voltage of vn so i have given v of vn likewise i have measured the v out uh, v out uh, peak to peak voltage of v out we need to find the gain gain is nothing but v out by vn right so gain dot measure gain and which gender parametric analysis the measuring quantity is v out by vn so i have given over here so now we have to go to view and space error log we can see the v out peak to peak is 0 0.028 and then input is 0 0.02 output by v and the gain is 1.41084 it will be minus since it is a phase shift has been happened over there it will be minus so we can find a uh, theoretical value and practical value and then we can compare it and then now let us perform an AS analysis so for AS analysis same as here with resistor to load so what I have done is I am going to uh, let me disable the transient so we have given the AS analysis so for AS analysis once again let me close this So here we can find it's all it's our own and 3 dB and um, 180 degree phase shift. So we have got a minus 1.41424 uh, which is a gain. So as in, in previous uh, in around one minute back I have shown the corresponding gain. The, uh, practically we have found it's more or same value. So this is how we can perform and AS analysis by doing AS analysis we can find a gain and then by means of transit analysis we can see how much the output has been input has been amplified in the output side and then we can measure a gain so thank you for watching